Hello, my name is Garx82, and welcome back Factory playthrough. I am just crafting up a 64k storage because it's actually pretty easy to craft up now. Um, I should have done it a long time before this, but uh, yeah, I'm just adding that because the um, sure, why not? That works. Actually, let's make this a little. <laughs> A little more symmetrical but uh yeah i did that because the superconducting coils are actually uh take quite a lot of bytes um up to fourteen thousand sand i think i need about thirty thousand for 16. yeah and that is just over the thousand or whatever that we have the redstone and the snowballs so uh twenty one thousand i thought it was more than that uh, so basically, I'm just kind of doing it. We'll do eight and eight, uh, but it does take sixty or forty-six thousand bytes. So uh, turn twenty-eight. Um, just was checking out uh, my things down here. I did add another one for uh, aluminum. Aluminum dust. <laughs> I know I could set up like a clay thing, but I'm fine with that. Um, yeah, I was looking at this and I was kind of hoping this would <laughs> be filling up, but it uh, it doesn't. You only get one per thing, so you need like a thousand, and at thirty percent, uh, it's taking a lot. And the only thing was because it's using six thousand of protect. So uh, when everything is kind of ramped up, as we can see, uh, we are actually going through four things worth of diamonds here. So I kind of want that to finish up, but uh, I don't think that's going to be happening anytime soon. I could probably throw another one, but yeah, those are only 500. Um, I think we're still okay with the, I forget what the name is, pulsating plum or clay. Uh, but I think we might actually be in the negative. Not by a lot, but uh, I think we're in the negative. Um, it's slowly going down here. And uh, actually, all I need to do is throw another one of these and <laughs> one of these. Yeah, that would uh, like double the speed that we're getting it. So that's not, I don't know why I was thinking that was going to be like some big ordeal. So why don't I just craft up another one? No CPUs are available. But must be using the other one for, all right, what are you using? We got that one. I don't know what that was trying to craft up. Oh, probably, um. I'm a man or one of these over here, probably. But anyway, I think we'll we'll go ahead and throw another one right there just to produce more. But then again, that's like 2000 more RF. So, uh, yeah. But uh, anyway, uh, last episode, we went ahead and got our Teflon or some higher tier things. Now, a lot of this isn't um, backlogged because I haven't really gone out of my way to have it backlog because <laughs> um, we have 19, 000, or 19 buckets worth right now. And I think for what we need at the moment, we're probably good. I was just seeing, uh, I processed all that best night that I had and uh, yeah, turned all the flooring into that. But uh, we are definitely going to need some more uh, for the motes of Omnium. But uh, I think uh, of Enderium, did I? I did get that. All right? Yeah. So I th think, uh, do we have a ZPM machine? No, I think we crafted one. Yes, we do. So I think I'm going to, we even have, yeah. 
even have the uh, circuit that we need here. Um, I think uh, maybe it might be time to throw in another uh, computer as well. At least, I mean, like I said, there's no channels. I could just add four. Doesn't really matter. Cheap enough. I think I should probably do that. Um, because when I have auto crafting going, um, it takes up. It takes up, uh, as we can see, I'm kind of like fighting with this stuff, so it's kind of annoying. So I think I'm going to add a couple more of those. Um, but now that's probably, yeah, that's probably the draconium. Oh, no, I think it's going right now. Is it? Ah, that's right. I still haven't, I thought I fixed that. Didn't I fix that? I thought I blocked the Enderium from that. I could have sworn I did. Did I do it on the wrong one? No. I could have... I could have sworn I added that. But, anyway. Uh, today, what do we want to do today? I want to get this... Um, ZPM crafted up. There's a couple machines we're going to need for this, um, but the fusion reactor is what is kind of the main goal we're working towards because we're going to need it for some of the, well, we need it for europium so we can get the fusion. So that is the main reason. And um, I mean, this isn't like super important. Um... I'm just trying to think what I want to do first. Let me um, let me craft some stuff here up here. I just have some kind of basic crafting. We've all seen it before. Like you don't need to see me crafting up co-processing units and this stuff. So uh, yeah, let me cut here and uh, we'll come back when I get something a little more interesting to watch. Okay, so uh, looking at the fusion reactor recipe, we do need plutonium two forty one. So I figured, why not? Let's just go ahead and get this quest finished. Uh, so we can kind of like go through this. I'm just kind of curious, because um, we're gonna need some of these fuels for the Omni thing. So we might as well uh, do that and uh, complete those. So I went ahead and crafted up what it wanted me to craft up. If we remember, I kind of made my own thing and uh, this quest didn't complete. I thought the quest had just a fission controller, but it actually wants you to build the whole thing. So I figured why not, let's just, uh, let's build what they want. So place reactor cells in all four corners, or eight corners. Then lap schools will go between them. Four on the top layer, four on the, yeah. At this point, the top and bottom layer should have eight blocks, yeah. Uh, in the middle layer, place four graphite blocks on the corners and four glowstone coolers on the sides. All right, so it looks like... I kind of get what they're saying. Um, it does look like there's empty blocks inside. Um, I have broke this down to kind of... This is going to be a bit bigger now that I have just realized that this is probably going to break here and this uh it's kind of annoying that there's like i don't know like sand and then sandstone like it just makes it so difficult to mine this out and then there's sand and then there's just regular blocks it just i'm not a huge fan of the world gen in lost cities but i think i have mentioned yep see like that and then it's like, all right, so we need to go back to this. And then that doesn't clear everything out. Oh, this is where I got, uh, what was it? Lava, I think. Um, but I was just kind of making a bit of an area so we could place this, because this is going to be bigger than the original one. Um, craft up a couple more of these. I remember. Diamond. Oh. 
Yeah, I guess we'll craft up another one. All right, so I think we'll just kind of put it back here a bit, all in that random place of water. Uh, we don't really need to go down here anymore, so I'll probably just fill this in. <laughs> all right, there we go. So, yeah. Well, apparently that's the side of my building. <laughs> um, I guess we'll just do that. I actually didn't realize that was so close. Thought we were, I guess, thought we were kind of farther down that. Um, all right, so. Man, my inventory is full of stuff. So it's a three by three by three in the middle. So I definitely need to go down one, I guess. I guess it's going to have to go here, won't it? This is kind of close to that. But what I am kind of getting from it, it is, so the reactor cells go in the corners and then lapis goes like that is kind of what, and then that one is just empty, is what I'm getting from the uh, things. Now these need to be moderator blocks. I think, is it? No, I don't think that, I think the moderator blocks, which is these graphite. Uh, let's look at that really quick. Uh, Or graphite on the corners, yeah. The graphite goes on the corners. So the graphite enhances or increases the amount of power you get from this, from the, the reactor cells. Um, but this is mostly just I'm just mostly doing this for the fuels. I'm not doing it for the power, although the power is not, um, not something to like laugh about. Oh man. <laughs> right, so that, that. This is a little bit awkward the way I'm doing this, but and then I guess we'll do that. Just uh, do that. And then these go here. Now the cryotheum that I have need to be adjacent to at least two reactor cells. I can actually just replace some of these with those, I think. And I just do that since I've already crafted them up. I don't want to fall in. Eh, I knew I was going to do that. Yeah, I think I can just replace them with the cryo theme. They're a little bit better. Uh, needs to be laser, yeah, to reactor cells. So I think that'll work. We'll see. Set there. And then we'll put that in the middle. I think I can just put this like up there. And like that. All right, so there we go. Three by three, we have 1,640 heat. So a uh, decent amount, but the moderator blocks are going to kind of cause it to increase the heat. Now I need this 241, which we get from just our, what we were doing before. So I'm just gonna craft up. I don't know how much we have. All right, I don't have quite enough for that. How about, let's just do 12 then. 
I need to send more of this stuff through. I just I don't have a thing set up for it, so I guess we'll just let me throw some in while we're yes. Uh, lots of 235, but uh, yeah, I had to process the other stuff. All right, so let me just throw some of this in here. Clean out my inventory a little bit. I did craft up the CPM CEF if you noticed that. So there's the LEU. So we will process this, and then I have the thing turned off to not send the plutonium in that we were doing before. It's kind of a weird. Will this work? I don't know if that's actually going to work. Um, all right, but we do. This is producing 2000 RF, but that's yeah. All right, so that does work. Um, we might as well. We're producing power. We might as well pipe it out. Um, yeah, is it even worth it? Is 2000 RF even worth it? I mean, it's like <laughs> this is producing 25,000 if we need it. I don't know. It just doesn't feel like it's worth it. So I'm just going to get that. Um, let's see. So pretty fast. Not. Uh, it just feels weird that I'm wasting this. I should probably just hook this up. I just hate wasting stuff, even though it's not like anything super important. Yeah, I'm gonna have to grab a couple more of these. All right, and then that will get us the plutonium that we need or oh look at that. I had a whole bunch nice the fusion reactor I guess we'll just do in inserts but all right so there we go we're just uh it should be yeah let's drop it all right so it's just gonna take a little bit of load off that um, but there we go. So that is going to be that. And then I guess, see the one thing with the plutonium 239, we can craft that up after this. But if we look at the depleted 239, we don't get the 241 plutonium that we need. So, um, I only need one plate of it. So... Yeah, we only need one plutonium 241. So, all right. We do have the super. No, we don't. We'll get that going. And, uh, yeah, let me uh, process some of this uh, fuel and we'll get some of these superconducting coils. And I guess let me. We do need these fusion coil blocks. We don't need a ton of them yet, but uh, I do need one, at least for this recipe. So let me get that at least. And then these neutron reflectors, I remember being very annoying. Yes. So tin alloy, reinforced iridium alloy, tungsten carbide. And I'm just noticing something that I hadn't considered we need an implosion compressor all right uh let me get this crafted up it's really easy this is like hv implosion compressor it's a three by three solid i mean this is super easy so let me get this crafted up and we will take a look at this okay so i've got a few things crafted up here i think we are good and uh yeah, so I got the implosion presser, really easy to craft up, um, but we need a couple more machines to go with that as well. And we'll see why right here. So basically, I need to do a fluid solidifier, a chemical reactor. That goes in there. We'll 
export that to the left. Now this needs to go there, and I just realized I need one more uh, fluid export bus. And so we do have, oh, we don't. We. Oh, that's still filling up. That's right. Um, my sulfuric acid generation is definitely not fast, but uh, it doesn't really need to be. Um, but if it becomes an issue, we will speed it up. All right, so we need toluene. I think it toluene. I think it's called toluene. Toluene. I have no idea if that's how you say it, <laughs> but uh, some of this, we'll set that. And this will just go in this fluid solidifier right there. And that will turn this into gelled toluene. Should have, yeah, I do. And those spiders. So there is the gelled toluene. Sulfuric acid in there. And that will turn the gelled toluene into TNT. I think it is yeah, four. Um, so you do use quite a bit of this stuff, but uh, I can always uh, turn this need to I don't want to like use tons of it I don't want to like go through everything but like I mean I guess I do have <laughs> quite a lot why don't we do this I'm gonna turn for now we'll just let that kind of fill up and let this run for a little bit uh, to fill up some of these tanks because some of this stuff uh, I definitely need so yeah, there is that. Then we will. Oh, actually. Yeah, we'll do energy hatch there. Um, I am going to have to do conduit, I think. Yes, I can hear you, snake. Or uh, spiders. We'll just do that, I guess. I'll put the TNT in there, and we'll just fill this up a little bit. I don't think we need a ton of it. Um, so do easiest would probably just to be input bus, pop a bus there. Those. Turn that off because that is the output bus. We don't need to see that. And then uh, let's finish this. All right. So there we go. There is the implosion compressor. Now that will just backlog with the this um, it's going to take a second to get the sulfuric acid but we'll just let it run and uh, yeah that will compress the iridium that we're going to need so I need two of those iridium things um, and I am actually running a bit low on the I'm going to have to craft up some more interfaces here actually I have some Why don't I throw some, at least a couple down? All right, I need more. It's a bit annoying. I was trying to keep it nice and square. I'm just going to throw the one down there until I can craft up. I'll craft up more of those molecular sunrills. They're just kind of annoying. Um, but we need 
iridium. This. So we need tungsten and iridium and diamond dust. So let's craft one of those. And then we need reinforced iridium. We'll just do, we'll do this, but since the TNT is automatically placed in the compressor, we don't need to worry about that. So we'll do that. And then this will go on that. So I think that will, I think that should work. Should have enough TNT in there. I didn't see, how much is this used? So it needs four TNT, and then each TNT is for that. So it's 16 gelled toluene. So you do go through quite a bit, but uh, it's really not the end of the world. Uh, we need two of these. So we'll do that. And that will just smelt that up. And then, uh, yeah, that'll be that. Uh, tin alloy. We can make ten alloy. I can't remember. Yeah, I thought we did. Um, the no, me these. I'm not going to do a recipe. I don't think. Well, I know because I'll I'll just do this manually. Um, when we need more of these, I will automate this. But for now, um, we need forty six oh eight of that how many divided by 144 32 so we need 32 uh 64 because we're doing we need two of these we'll get that beryllium i did smelt up but we don't have a recipe for that and like i said we will um when we need it we have a faster one. We have an EV or LUV one now, don't we? Yeah. Tungsten carbide, I think we need. And then, yeah, this will get us these fusion reactors. So there is that. Tungsten carbide. What do we need? Eight of these. Yeah. And then the reinforcement. Force. There we go. So there's the two reinforced iridium alloy. Got that. Tin alloy. Is that, I guess. And do I have a. I guess I can just do this. Ooh, that's going to take a while. <laughs> we have a faster one. We have a faster one over here. Let's do. Do I have stuff in it? I do. Hydrochloric acid needs to go in one of these. I don't remember which one it is. There we go. Let's try this again. Turn that off so it doesn't go in anywhere. It doesn't need to go. All right. So there's tin alloy, beryllium, reinforced iridium, tungsten carbide. And there we go. All right. So that is the neutron reflectors that we need for the fusion coil. I do need one more superconducting coil. I have the 32 that we're going to need. But we need the one more. Yeah, and anything. And do I have a assembler that doesn't have fluid in it? This is the. And do I actually have an assembler with? I don't even know if I do actually. Watermel. I don't. I think we actually have an assembler that does not have a fluid in it. 
No, I don't think we do. Nope, that's the Tetra, uh, Poly Tetra, whatever. I'm gonna craft. No, I'm gonna have to craft. That's kind of funny. I'm gonna have to craft up a uh, an assembler. Um, let me, I guess, craft this assembler up, or I could just do. Yeah, it's a bit difficult switching out fluids. I should just have an assembler that I can use on demand, though. I just crafted up a uh, HV one, just for you know random stuff we need, like that. So we'll just throw that in there. Didn't even look at the. Wow, that's 200 seconds. I didn't even look at that. But uh, all right, so that is that. Um, finally, got the implosion compressor that we're gonna need here. Now this will just kind of slowly. Uh, fill up with the um, TNT. Um, I don't know how much we're going to need at this, uh, at least at this point. Uh, we don't need a whole ton of it, but uh, yeah, we definitely needed to craft one up. And I'll just let that run and probably let that fill up, and we'll kind of see. We're looking at ooh, naphtha. I should probably have that being piped up uh, for the epoxy. Also, I need to get rid of that. But yeah, uh, I think we are, we're almost at the point, I think, that we can craft up the fusion reactor, I think. So there is our superconducting coils. We have 32 of those. Put some of this stuff away. Um, we got the plutonium set up for that plutonium plate that we need. Uh, we'll take a look at the, um, we're going to, no, that goes in a centrifuge, doesn't it? It goes in there. That's right. Yep, so there is the Pluto Volume 242. Um, we might progress a little bit in that, but it's not a super... Not a super um, priority at the moment. We will need some better stuff here, but uh, yeah, more for when we are getting the... Um, the motes of Omnium, we'll have to get that. There is that. And let's see if we can craft that up. Nice. Nothing too crazy. We do need some circuits. What do we need? Uh, I feel like that's like a really high tier. What do we? Ah, uh, we need them. I was like, I didn't realize that had it's four of those circuits. Oh, wow. All right. But anyway, uh, I need to do, I need to figure out where we're putting this fusion reactor. <laughs> this is a very big multi-block, and we're probably going to have some, I think we're going to produce some power with it as well. So I think we may be having to sort out our base here <laughs> and uh, figure out... Get a little more organized. And, uh, yeah, but I think next episode, I think we're, I think we're there. We have everything. Yeah, we have everything for that. And, uh, yeah, that'll be really fun. Getting the fusion reactor built is pretty cool. Although it does say need. We have enough. I don't know if we have enough of that, actually. Do we have enough of this for 16? We do. I guess that wasn't as bad as I was thinking it was going to be. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. So thanks for watching, and have a good one.